Right. So let's let's talk about this. The old elephant in the room as far as videos on the channel. Uh, obviously, we had an update video not that long ago. This week, as you probably know at this point, I've been getting over being sick. And now it sets the stage, punch the microphone, sets the stage for this weekend. NHL 21's out for everybody. There's a roster update. Things must be looking pretty good. Series must be on track. No. 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 Now, uh, you know, obviously, I edit rosters. It's what I do. I like more accurate rosters, but I deem more accurate rosters. I think the roster update that EA put out, I believe on the 16th now, two days ago, is solid in that, you know, there's still obviously a bunch of overalls and potentials I disagree with, but draft rights are in for players who were just drafted. And obviously you have, you know, the updated moves and contracts that have happened up to about the 14th. There are some on the 15th that were done and some that weren't. It's really weird. Aside from that, though, of course, the overalls and potentials are the same, and I think they're kind of a mess. You have some missing players, uh, which sucks. Uh, Anthony Duclair is not in free agency. He is on the Atlantic All-Star team, though, which is weird. Uh, Travis Hamannick and Corey Perry are completely AWOL, which is weird because they shouldn't be, you would think. Certain AHL players missing or junior players. There's paperwork there that is what it is. I don't understand why those players are missing. I could overlook that. Could create said players. But then you get into, I guess, why the title of this video is like, hey, franchise mode's in a rough spot right now. And it is. Um, unfortunately, the first big issue has to do with created players and editing players. And there was a glitch that I can presume is only in the game because every single goddamn defenseman for some flippin' frackin' frickin' jeez, I'm not going through all 31. Everyone's listed as righty-lefty, and I can only assume that's caused a glitch in franchise mode and a glitch here. So what will happen is, if you change the overall of a defenseman, case in point with Kale McCarr, 86 in the creation suite, pretty sure, I didn't see this incorrectly, but an 85 here. The overalls aren't matching up, and sometimes it's a one point difference for better or worse. Sometimes it's about a five point, or three to five point difference. I dropped Michael Del Zotto down to a 78. He's showing up as a 75. So, kind of a pain in the ass to not know just exactly how good the defenseman is. And when it comes to editing and adding in prospects, the big problem is what overall is correct. And really, when it comes to editing, if it's the creation suite overall that's correct, if Kale McCarr is actually an 86, cool. If he's actually an 85... Editing is pointless right now. Absolutely pointless. And none of these ratings for defensemen can apparently be trusted. Matter of fact, I haven't even looked. I wonder what Drew Doughty is. Is Drew Doughty actually a 91? Let's find out. No, he's actually a 90, apparently. So, the outrage wasn't justified. <laughs> I don't know how that happens. I didn't notice this in you know any early look at the game. How something like that sneaks through, uh, you know, play testers, I don't understand. But that's a, it's a problem. It is. The other big problem that we're seeing with defensemen, and I know the example uh, was Tony D'Angelo, and I don't know if I'll be able to load up, here, I'll actually load up a Rangers franchise. The issue with Tony D'Angelo and some other defensemen, apparently, is that when you load up a franchise mode and you try to look at their scheme fits, they're showing up, like, it'll show the forwards scheme fits, and not the defensive, you know, one, two, three lines. It'll show the four forward lines. So you have no idea how good of a fit this person is unless you plug him in on every single line, which, again, isn't a deal breaker, but it's not ideal. And I don't know if it shows up that way. Uh, I think it is, is what I've heard. When you are looking at players to potentially acquire, you might not know how good of a fit they are. That's a pretty big issue, I would say, personally. And then the third issue is... Uh, it's just... God, here, let, let's... Before we move on to the third issue, let's just let's just double-check this with D'Angelo because I've seen plenty of examples of it. And again, it's just a massive, massive pain in the ass, if we're being honest. It sucks franchise mode takes so long to load up, but franchise mode is where the next issue comes up. Um... 
here, let's let's check Tony D'Angelo, shall we? For example, holy sh today, <laughs> please. Woo, that took forever, and so was this. There we go. So let's let's take a look at the old uh, defensive uh, line combinations here. D'Angelo showing him as a forward defenseman, 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 defenseman. But for some reason, certain players. And it's not an issue, <clears throat> excuse me, of like, oh, if it was like Brent Burns, I guess I could understand the glitch if it was like lefty and left wing. But that's not possible in the game. So again, for me, it's like, okay, I can see on the right here how good D'Angelo is. I know how good of a scheme fit he is on the team. But like I said, if you go to potentially trade for D'Angelo, what are the scheme fits going to show? So it's just, it's a problem. And then perhaps the biggest problem Auto scouting is not working for a lot of people, apparently. So if you just want to hire as good of a staffing uh, department as you can, or you know, scouting department as you can, and leave it on auto scouting, apparently I'm seeing people being like, yeah, they're not scouting anybody who's like in the top 200. Is that by design to try and get more people to actually actively scout? Maybe. I don't disagree that it was too easy to rely upon the auto uh, scouting, but it should be that way. You should have that choice. There was the option this year uh, in direct response uh, to franchise mode people, myself included, going in and changing uh, player types and positions. There was that direct response to now take away that option once you're in franchise mode. Is nerfing the auto scout a part of that? Did they just take it a little bit too far? <clears throat> I don't know. But at the end of the day, it just it kind of sucks to say that I don't know. Like, this is supposed to be like, hell yeah, let's go, new NHL, big views, baby. No. <laughs> Franchise mode's just not in a good spot. Now, like, the mode itself, it's it's good when everything's working great. I would probably put this as top two in terms of franchise mode for main console games. You know, Madden, it's functional. It can be addictive, but it's functional. MLB The Show, they haven't changed shit in years. And, well, in fairness, NBA is still probably number one, but they find a way to break stuff too. NBA is still probably number one. It's just unfortunate for me that that's the one I have the least amount of interest in. I think NHL was second for me, and FIFA jumped it this year because the FIFA team in the same building got their shit together. It just sucks because this is still a really good franchise mode, especially with some of the additions, the customization options uh, that we have now, deadline day being a thing. But there are just some issues right now where, hey, if you can overlook them and enjoy franchise mode, that is all well and good. Again, you know, the options like the draft class quality, stuff like that. These are really nice. If you can overlook those issues still and enjoy franchise mode, that's sweet. <laughs> For me, I could deal with the rosters you know, the roster update and then starting franchise mode. But now there's all this stuff going on where I'm just like, I'm, I'm just going to wait it out. I'm just going to wait it out. So in terms of what you're going to be seeing on the channel, I'm not exactly sure. Obviously, I've been doing a lot of real-world content. I'm still working on that big project. Again, it should be launching in the next week. It was supposed to be this week, but I got sick. Uh, we'll see what happens. I don't know if I'll, oh, bring FIFA back to the channel, bring Madden, whatever. Maybe. We'll see. Obviously, I've been playing a lot of FIFA on Twitch. But in terms of NHL franchise, I'm just, I'm not quite sure. So we'll see what happens. Just wanted to keep you updated on the situation. And I mean, they're aware of these issues. You know, I, anytime, just about anytime someone sends me something like this, like I know this stuff has been shared. And if you find examples of something like the three main issues I talked about or any other issues regarding franchise mode, send it to me, send it to people you know, who care about franchise mode that are uh, known for doing it, whether it be, you know, x -Tac, Tactics, obviously myself, uh, Baker and Timo Show as well, do stuff on franchise mode. Like, there are people certainly to get in contact with that can pass along examples of really unfortunate situations and problems and issues that has really... It's just 2020 at this point, isn't it? Even with that extra month of uh, dev time. Still just couldn't avoid some of these launch issues that, you know, hey, for me, I've I've just accepted it. Like, hey, you know, goodbye, gu goodbye, decent launch views. Goodbye, decent launch revenue. <laughs> I, I have no choice, though, because I can't be like, this is perfect. 
It's not right now. And it's a shame. I will see you guys soon in some way, shape, or form on this channel again within this next week. I'm hoping by the end of the week, like Friday, Saturday, uh, you guys will see what I have been working on in the meantime. Of course, the roster editing stuff uh, has been started as well. Again, I'm hoping with the way the defensive glitch works that it's what's in the fucking creation suite because if it's not, I'm screwed. <sighs> I will see you guys soon. Have a good one. Stay safe. Take it easy. Goddamn. <laughs>